So what's the big deal with recycling? Well, John, recycling and composting help us protect our natural resources, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and save energy. These efforts even help businesses and organizations save money and boost our local economy. First, let's talk economics. Recycling is big business in Minnesota. Recycling, composting, and reuse industries employ over 60,000 Minnesotans, leading to nearly $3.4 billion in direct wages and $15 billion in total economic activity. So if we want to continue to improve the economic benefit of recycling, we need to make sure that everyone is recycling right, recycling often, and avoiding wish cycling. Cool, Michelle. But how can recycling save our organization money? Well, trash is taxed at 17% by the state and up to an additional 53% by some counties. So getting recyclable and compostable materials out of the trash and into less expensive recycling and composting outlets often leads to significant cost savings. I'm glad that it saves money, but doesn't recycling help out in other ways? Yes, recycling and composting helps avoid many negative environmental impacts that come from manufacturing materials from their virgin state. Producing products from recycled materials often requires less energy, less transportation, and has a lower impact on things Minnesotans take pride in, like clean water, clean air, and wildlife habitat. I get it. Recycling's good for all of us. But I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, let's start with the easy stuff, mixed recycling. We can put all our recyclable plastic and metal containers and recyclable paper products together in one bin. From here, these products will be sent off to a materials recovery facility, or a MRF or they are sorted into unique material types and sold on commodities markets. Got it. We can put all that stuff together in one bin. But I'm confused about how to tell what's recyclable. Okay, well let's take a look at plastics. In Minnesota, only rigid containers with the numbers one, two, or five on them can be recycled. Make sure to put the caps back on these containers and get out any leftover food or liquid like yogurt, peanut butter, or half-filled water bottles. Okay. So my water bottle, my yogurt container, my leftover pad thai container, they can all go in. Close, but not quite. Black plastic isn't accepted. Since it can't be dyed into other colors, it doesn't have much value in the recycling world. Also, it's hard for optical sorters to see black plastic as it whizzes by on the conveyor belt. Okay, no black plastic. But definitely my styrofoam cup can be recycled. Look, it's got the recycling symbol right here. Don't be fooled. That recycling symbol is actually just a number created by and for plastic manufacturers. It doesn't mean the product is recyclable. Styrofoam is a cheap, lightweight material that doesn't have good resale value and is very hard to collect without having it break into very small pieces. Put it in the trash. Okay, styrofoam's out. But this plastic cutlery I got with my lunch? That's gotta be recyclable, right? Unfortunately, no. Small plastics like cutlery, straws, or even small medicine bottles fall through the cracks at the MRF. In order for a plastic container to be collected, it needs to be bigger than your fist, or it will wind up as trash. Or worse, contaminate other recycling streams. All right, I think I'm getting it. Now I know our plastic bags are recyclable, so I'll just put that in the bin too. Easy, John. Yes, we can recycle our plastic bags, but not in your blue bin. Plastic bags and other stretchy plastic film need to be brought back to a store drop-off so they can get recycled. If these materials get mixed in with cans, bottles, and containers, it'll get wrapped around the sorting machines and cause problems at the recovery facility. That could mean lost revenue and unsafe working conditions for recycling sorters. This also means that if you collect your recycling in a plastic bag, it needs to be emptied out of that bag before going into the recycling dumpster. All right, let's move on to the metals. I know aluminum cans are recyclable, so I'll just crush this thing and pop it in there. First of all, it's called soda. Second, you're correct. Aluminum is infinitely recyclable and has the best environmental and economic story of all the mixed recyclables. But don't crush it. The systems in place to separate aluminum work better if the can stays in its original shape. How about aluminum foil and trays? They've gotta be recyclable too, right? In fact, they are. As long as it is clean from food and you loosely ball it up to give it a bit of shape, aluminum foil can be collected in the mixed recycling. But if there's a bunch of cheese from your lasagna or sour cream from your burrito, you're best off putting it in the trash so we can keep our recycling clean. Cartons and juice boxes? Sure, these will get recycled into new paper products. Just remove any straws. So then paper coffee cups are recyclable too, right? No. Unfortunately, the plastic liner that keeps the cup from leaking all over you also makes them hard to recycle. There are not currently markets for these. Put them in the trash along with the lid. 
The little paper sleeve can go in the recycling, though. Cartons, yes, but paper coffee cups, no. What about the rest of the paper that we generate? You could put all your office paper, junk mail, little cellophane window and all, cardboard, old calendars, box board, magazines, and newspapers in with your mixed recycling. If your paper is in a binder or book form, rip out the paper so it can be collected properly. If it's too heavy, it won't be captured with the rest of the paper. Also, when recycling cardboard, try to remove any plastic packaging from the inside and flatten boxes to make them easier to collect and take up less space in the recycling dumpster. And how about shredded paper? Shredded paper is very hard to collect and get recycled since it's so small and sticks to a lot of other materials. Make sure you're only shredding paper that needs to be shredded, and if possible, use an approved shredding service. If you're using a desk side shredder, then it's best to just put the shredded material into the trash. All right, I think I understand what goes in the blue bin. Now what goes in the green bin? The green bin is the organics recycling bin, also known as composting. Here, we can put all of our food waste, compostable paper, and even certified compostable plastics. All of this material is transported to a commercial composting facility where it's placed in huge piles called windrows and gets hot enough to turn into compost. That compost is used by farmers, gardeners, MnDOT, and anyone who wants to improve soil health without using synthetic fertilizers. So all food can go in there? Even meat? Yep, even meat and bones. These composting windrows get so hot, over 158 degrees for seven straight days. Materials that wouldn't break down in your backyard composting pile will break down at the commercial composting site. Okay, food scraps and waste go in the green bin, but you also said compostable paper. When is paper compostable versus recyclable? Compostable paper products are lower grade paper products, like paper towels, napkins, tissues, and paper egg cartons. These products have shorter paper fibers and can't be recycled back into any new paper products. It's the end of the recycling line for those materials, so it's best to compost it. You can also compost dirty paper products that could have been recycled if they were clean. Things like greasy pizza boxes and standard paper coffee filters, along with the grounds, should go into the organics recycling. Wait, wait, wait. You also said there's compostable plastics. What are those? There are a bunch of certified compostable plastic products on the market now. There are cups, cutlery, straws, bowls, even wrappers and bags that are made from plant-based plastic and can be included in the green organics recycling bin. Just make sure to confirm that these products have a BPI logo on them. If you're ever in doubt, throw it out. Well, that was a lot of information. Where can I go if I have questions? You can call us, Check out mnwastewise.org or contact your local county or city.